Hello everybody, welcome back to Science Wednesday. So, in the last classes, we have already seen what a virus is. We have seen how our body uh, defends from intruders and what happened in our body. What we already know. If your body gets exposed to an intruder, it can make a memory and create immunity. Vaccines can create immunity without your body actually getting infected. But what actually happens since the moment a virus starts trying to attack us until we actually get rid of it? So maybe to understand this better, let's look at the different uh, phases of a disease. Before you get sick, you have to get infected. Transmission of viruses can happen in different ways. Eating infected meat through surfaces. A virus can sit on a surface and wait for a suitable host to pass by. Through factor transmission. A carrier can bring the virus to a new host. Airborne transmission. The virus can be passed on through the air, for example by breathing. Waterborne transmission. The virus infects the water and enters a new host once this water is consumed by the new host. Droplet transmission. The virus is passed on through body fluids, like someone sneezing. After you get infected, the first period of the disease cycle is the incubation period. In this period, you don't feel sick yet, but the virus is multiplying in your body and you can already contage other people. The second stage of a disease is the prodromal period. During this phase, the virus continues to multiply in your body and your body begins to experience signs of illness as a result of the activation of your immune system. These signs often include fever, pain, soreness or inflammation. These general symptoms are a result of your body trying to fight an invader. Fever, for example, is a way of your body to fight invaders because most viruses and bacteria do not like higher body temperatures. After this comes the period of illness. During this period, the symptoms of the disease are most obvious and severe. Following the period of the illness is the period of decline. During this period, the number of viruses starts to decrease and you start feeling better. However, you're still sensitive to other infections because your immune system has been weakened by the first infection. The last period of the disease cycle is the period of convalescence. During this stage, your body returns to its normal functions. You're cured. So let's see what we learned today. What did we learn today? Transmission of viruses can happen in different ways. Through infected meat, via surfaces, through factor transmission, airborne transmission, through waterborne transmission, and through droplet transmission. The disease cycle consists out of five phases. The incubation period, prodromal period, period of illness, period of decline, and the convalescence. And that was all for today. So, hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.